Hey guys, welcome to GV Yoga Live. My name is Claire. Today we are going to do about a sequence about yoga poses for cough and phlegm. All right, guys, we are going to start on our mats today. So we are going to be using one block. It's not necessary, but I like to use it to sit on as we go through yoga poses for cough and phlegm. We're also going to be doing a little pranayama today to help loosen the mucus that we have all congested in our chest and our lungs. We want to warm our body up from the inside and help balance that um, that lymph lymphatic system in our body to bring it back to balance. So we are going to start in easy pose or hero's pose. I'm gonna start with on my knees and gently sliding the block horizontally underneath our glutes. So your legs are gonna spread out a little bit, your toes out by your sides here, but your knees are gonna to be together and the block is gonna be gently right under your sitting bones. We're gonna start with a little alternating nostril breathing to kind of help center our body and bring it back to a state of balance before we continue on with our practice today. So you can be sitting in hero or easy pose and just start to lengthen your spine up nice and tall. Close your eyes, release your hands down by your sides here. Take a full breath in and a full exhale out. Just grounding yourself into your body in this practice here as we transition from one practice of life into the other. Releasing any stress or thoughts that you're holding on to and just coming back to your conscious breathing. For alternated nostril breathing, we're gonna be using our right thumb and our right pointer finger. So this is a variation. We're gonna use our right thumb to plug our right nostril. Exhale out all the air through the left nostril. Inhale left nostril for a count of two, three, four. Using your pointer finger, plug both nostrils and hold shut for two, three, four. Release your thumb and exhale out the right nostril for two, three, four. Pause at the bottom. Inhale through your right nostril, two, three, Four, plug both nostrils and hold for two, three, four. Release your pointer finger and exhale out your left nostril for two, three, four. Pause. This is one round, we'll do one more. Inhale, left nostril, two, three, four. Plug both nostrils and hold for two, three, four. Release your thumb and exhale right nostril. Two, three, four. Pause. Inhale right nostril. Two, three, four. Plug both nostrils and hold. Two, three, four. And release your finger and exhale left nostril. Two, three, four. Release both hands. Take a full breath in and a full exhale out. Alternative nostril breathing brings the body back into balance. It brings that breath as we bring it from one side to the other. So it really helps calm our mind here. The next pranayama we're going to be doing is lion's breath. So you can do this sitting um, on your knees or cross-legged, but your hands come to your lap. We're going to lengthen our spine, open up our chest here, take an inhale through our nose, and then stick out your tongue as far as you can and exhale it out like <sighs> inhale deeply stick out your tongue exhale completely <sighs> so lion's breath is really good because we're opening up that lymphatic system and we're creating space in our chest and in our lungs to remove any cough and phlegm that we have going on in our body so we're going to do five rounds of that lion's breath together inhaling through your nose and Exhaling almost like hissing it out through your mouth. Hands on your lap, inhale. Stick out your tongue. Inhale. Three more. Last one here.
Bring your tongue back into your mouth here. Just take a cleansing breath in. And a full exhale out. You can start to relieve some tension in your chest and your lungs here, getting rid of that cough and that phlegm. So now we're going to flip on over onto our uh, belly down to kind of open up our chest and our lungs here to find some more breathing room. So you can remove the block here and flip over onto your stomach. Coming down on towards the mat, just gently keep your knees on the ground, bend your elbows, and lower down all the way towards the ground. Press the tops of the toes in towards the ground here. Take your gaze down and your hands are directly underneath your shoulders. Exhale out all of your air to prepare. Inhale for baby cobra. Lift your chest, lift your heart. Your hands can stay on the ground or you can lift them off if you're feeling strong today. Press the tops of the toes in towards the mat. Release any tension in the glutes here. You want the strength to be coming from your spine. Keep your gaze down to lengthen the back of your neck here. Ah, full breath in. Full exhales out. We're opening up the chest here. We're lengthening the lungs, inviting more room, more breath. Breathe in and exhale, gently coming down. Release your hands down by your sides, one cheek to the mat, and pause for a moment to rest. Bring your chin back to the center here, bend your knees, and grab for the outside edges of your feet. Take your legs parallel towards the ground, gaze down, exhale out all of your air. Inhale, press into your feet, kick your legs off the ground, lift your chest, lift your legs here, release your glutes. Nice big breaths in and full exhales out. It's okay if you rock a little bit here. We're opening up the lungs, the chest, creating more space and more room to get rid of any mucus, cough, and phlegm that we have going on. Full breath in, shoulder blades come together. Open the chest, the collarbone. Full exhales out, gently release it, coming back to the mat, hands down by your sides, and windshield wipe your legs side to side. This removes any tension in the lower spine. And then relax your legs down on towards the ground. Bring your chin back towards the center here. Hands underneath your shoulders. Bend your elbows, push yourself up, tuck your toes under, and come up into downward facing dog. So we have our hands and legs spread nice and long, coming into that inverted V shape. Spread all 10 fingers really wide, and then really press into the thumb and the pointer finger, the heel of the palm, strengthen your shoulders, send your hips up, and then melt your heels down towards the ground. Totally cool if they don't touch though. Just take a breath in and a breath out. Take your gaze towards your fingertips and start to walk your toes closer towards your hands, bending your knees here. Coming into a forward fold, we want our feet about hip width distance apart. Place a soft bend in the knees, release the hands down towards the ground, release your head and your neck. Reach your hands to your lower spine and interlace your hands here. Coming into a chest opener, we want to reach our hands up and over towards the top of our mat, sending the weight into our toes, our tailbones up towards the sky. So we're opening up the chest, we're compressing just slightly, but still finding length and opening in the collarbone and the chest to create space for our lungs. Full breath in. Full exhale out, finding a gentle compression here. Trusting your balance, you won't fall, I promise. And exhale, release your hands down towards the ground here. Wrapping your first two fingers around the big toes of each of your feet here. Start with your knees bent, release your head and your neck, coming into big toe stand. So you're gonna begin to straighten your legs and your hamstrings, sending your tailbone up. The weight comes into your toes, lengthen your spine here as you inhale. And then grab for your big toes as you exhale, bending the knees here and we're trying to make that forehead to knee connection. You can bend your elbows to help pull you down. Breathe in to lengthen the spine. And exhale, fold a little bit deeper. Breathe in. 
One more breath, inhale. And exhale. Release the grip on your toes here. You can walk your hands out, bring your hands to your shins, coming into a halfway lift. Shoulder blades come together, lengthen the spine, gaze down. And then exhale your hands back towards the mat. Start to bend your knees here and come on down to the ground. Walk your knees out wide towards the edge of the mat and your big toes together, coming into a wide like a child's pose. Send your hips down closer towards your heels. They don't have to touch, but totally cool wherever they're at. And then just walking your hands forward, coming into child's pose, extended with our arms in front of us and relaxing your head down and towards the ground. Take full breaths in, full exhales out. Breathing in and breathing out. Lifting your head off the ground, start to walk your fingertips back towards the center line of your body. Close your knees and flip over onto your bottom. These were yoga poses today for cough and phlegm. We really wanted to open and lengthen the chest here, creating more space. You guys did awesome. Thank you for joining. Namaste. Thank you for joining us today, guys. You did amazing. If you like this video and want to shoot us a comment in the link below, hit the subscribe button. We would love to hear from you and we'll see you next time. Thank you.